Hi y'all, it's Deanna from Far From Homesteading and today I want to talk about Victory Gardens. Victory Gardens or War Gardens were gardens planted in private residences and in parks during World War I and World War II. They planted fruits and vegetables and herbs, everything that you would need to sustain if you couldn't go to the grocery store. It provided Americans a way to help with the war effort from home by growing food for everyone. These gardens not only gave Americans a safeguard against food shortages, but they also helped ease the burden on American farmers to, to support everybody, especially when so many people were away at war. A lot of our able-bodied men that usually did those kind of jobs working in the farm industry. With the constant fear of looming lockdowns and food shortages at the grocery stores, Americans once again turned to the sustainability of the garden. There are more new gardeners right now than at any other time in my life. I think having so many new gardeners is such a wonderful thing. I feel like it is vitally important to prepare now for the days ahead. And some of you people that live in a warmer area, you still have time to plant a fall garden. And if you do, you should do that. And if you know how to preserve your harvest, you should do that. And if you don't know how to garden or how to preserve your harvest, then I suggest that you take the time to learn how to do that right now. Because even if you don't have a garden, you can still preserve food from the grocery store and that's just fine. Anything that you can do to make yourself feel secure for what's to come. And no one really knows what's to come. So whatever that takes for you individually. And even if none of these apply to you, if you don't have a garden, if you don't know how to preserve, or even if you don't want to learn how to do these things, but you still feel like you need to be ready in case there is a lockdown or an emergency in which you need to be at home for a few weeks, then stock up on canned food. Try to have at least two to four weeks of food that your family will eat. Do not stock your pantry full of food that your family is not even gonna eat because that is just a waste of both your time and your money and then of the food that does not get eaten ultimately. So you're gonna wanna stock it with things that your family is gonna wanna want to eat, okay? It sucks being stuck at home. It sucks not being able to do the things you wanna do the least you can do is be able to eat the food you want to eat. So be prepared and then you don't have to suffer through the next pandemic. Another way to prepare, and I really know this has nothing to do with Victory Gardens, but I know the point of a Victory Garden is to provide sustainability. And we're, we are currently not in a war. Very, very close. It could happen any day now, but as of right now, we just really have to look forward to pandemic lockdowns. Another great way that you can prepare in case something does happen would be MREs. MREs are meals ready to eat. You can order them from several companies. Some of them taste really good. Some of them mm, are not as good. You just have to find the ones that are right for you and your family. But that is a good way to store food in case of an emergency because it doesn't take up as much room. And in a package, you have like the whole, the whole meal. So you might have like a lasagna which, you know, beats a can of peas. Just say it. Now, if you do want to start your own victory garden for next year, now is the time to get prepared. If you're feeling the strain of this year and know that you want to take that burden off of yourself by planting just a one bed. Of planting just one raised bed then now is the time to start. It's time to start, get your bed ready, get your soil ready. It's also time to get your seeds. Last year, it was so hard to get some of the seeds that I wanted because there were extreme seed shortages because everybody wanted to start a garden because everybody feels that electric need inside to be sustainable even if they don't know what that is yet. Just that uncertainty for your family. <clears throat> That's that feeling that you're having right now is why us homesteaders started homesteading a long time ago. <laughs> we, we saw the possibility in the outreach of government control. I'm gonna make the same suggestion when you buy your seed is when you stock your pantry. Please buy seeds 
for food that your family is going to eat. Don't grow an entire garden of things that your family is like disgusted by because that's really kind of a waste. And unless you have animals that you can feed it to, I mean, it's just going to be thrown out or put in the compost. And that is not where you want your garden to go. You put a lot of hard work into that and you want to have the harvest as your reward for that. You want to see a reward. So please plant food that you're going to like. Plant all the things that you like and then maybe plant one or two things that you want to try new. But don't monopolize your garden with things that you're not even sure if you're going to eat. Also, take the time to learn how to plant those things and what their needs are specifically. Because if you're only planting a few different kinds of food, then it's easier to obtain small amounts of knowledge at one time. When you want to learn something, you take small bites. You can't just like devour it all at once or you won't get the benefits of it. So seeds were hard to get last year, so make sure you get started soon. Get the things you want to eat. Learn to preserve. Learn to grow a garden. And if you're not interested in those things, stock your pantry with canned food or MREs and know that you're ready for the next quarantine. Don't forget the toilet paper though guys because we all know how crazy people can get about their booty wipe. Anyways that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of information about Victory Gardens. I sure had a good time sharing it with you. Till next time guys.